All right, so you guys clicked on this video here because of one of two reasons, right? You either have the Galaxy Tab S8, the S8 Plus, or you got the S8 Ultra that I'm rocking right here. And you're not sure if you guys should be upgrading to the Tab S9, the Tab S9 Plus, or the Tab S9 Ultra, or you just might be interested in getting your very first Galaxy tablet, and you're wondering which one out of all of these devices should you guys buy? Well, lucky for y'all, man, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down every single thing that you need to know, as well as down in the comments, I want you guys to let me know if if you guys think it is worth making that jump or get this as your very first tablet. All right, so the first thing we gotta start off talking about and that is the colors that are offered from both of these devices. Now, when it comes to the Galaxy Tab S8, as well as the S8 Plus, it comes in three different colors. You're getting it in graphite, you're getting it in silver, as well as rose gold. But when it comes to the Tab S8 Ultra, this one here only comes in the graphite color that you guys are seeing right here. Now, when it comes to the Tab S9, the S9 Plus, as well as the S9 Ultra, Samsung decided this time around to just stick to two different colors. Graphite like the Tab S8 series that you guys are seeing right here and a brand new beige color that I'm personally interested in checking out for myself. You will have to decide whichever color that you guys are gonna feel is gonna be the best one for you. Now, if you guys are wondering, this again is the graphite color here that I have, uh, that I've been using on my Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra ever since it came out and I love this color. Now, when it comes to the display, here are some huge differences that I feel like you guys out there should be aware of. The first one is the size of the displays. Now, from the Tab S8 series to the Tab S9 series, the sizes are pretty much the same from the S9 being an 11 inch display, the S9 Plus being a 12.4 inch display, and the Tab S9 Ultra being a 14.6 inch display. Now, when we talk about major differences, right, between the Tab S8 as well as the Tab S9 series, that pretty much comes down to the display type that's being used. Now, when it comes to the S8 series, this one here is using the S AMOLED display or a Super AMOLED display, while the new Tab S9 series on all of their models is using a new dynamic AMOLED 2X, which offers a significant advantage over last year's model of the S AMOLED displays, and here's what they are. All right, so the first thing you guys are getting with this new dynamic AMOLED 2X display is way better contrast ratio, which is gonna help a lot with those deep black levels whenever you guys are watching content. Also, you're getting improved color accuracy and it's going to help reduce the blue light emission which is going to be a huge help on your eyes for longer periods of usage but to me, I feel like the major advantage has to deal with the fact that this dynamic AMOLED 2X screen or HDR10 plus certified, meaning that you're gonna be capable of displaying a wider range of colors that's gonna give you a way more immersive viewing experience when it comes to consuming content on these devices. Now, one of the next changes is something that I'm glad to actually see that they've decided to add to the Galaxy Tab S9 series that I felt really should have been on the Tab S8 series, and that is with them adding the IP68 certification rating to this tablet, which if you guys don't know what that means, it basically means that this Tab S9 series is gonna be water resistant and up to five feet of water for 30 minutes, which is a huge plus. I just feel like nowadays, since we have the technology to be able to do so, I feel like everything should at least be IP68 rated as a standard. So shout out to Samsung, man, for adding this to their new tablet lineup over something like the Tab S8 series. Now, another upgrade that is coming with the Tab S9 series is that you're gonna be getting Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 2 processor opposed to last year's model in the Tab S8 series having Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 1 processor. Now, is the Gen 2 chip gonna be more powerful in performance and offer better optimization? Yes, probably so, but I'm here to let you know that the Gen 1 processor that I have on my S8 Ultra here has been running like a champ, man, and I've had zero issues with it. So, just take that how you guys see it when it comes to making a decision on which one you guys want to buy. And the Gen 1 models will most likely be discounted, you know, for you guys to scoop up. Just saying, you know, put some money back into your pockets. <laughs> Now, the next thing let's go ahead and discuss is the battery life and how that's actually been. Now, I personally got a love-hate relationship when it comes to the battery life, and I'll talk about that here in a second. But first thing is, it's important for you guys to know only one model received an update in battery capacity, and that is the Tab S9 model over the Tab S8 model. Now, the base Tab S9 model has a battery capacity of 8,400 milliamp hours, while the Tab S8 model has a battery capacity of 8,000 milliamp hours. So you're seeing a 400 milliamp in battery capacity increase, which 
which is, in my opinion, pretty solid. But when it comes to the other models, it's pretty much the same as last year models with the Tab S9 Plus being a 10,090 milliamp hour in battery capacity and the Tab S9 Ultra being 11,200 milliamp hours in battery capacity, which is exactly the same as last year. Remember when I said I have like this whole love-hate relationship with the battery in my Tab S8 Ultra? Well, that is because I love the battery life in this tablet. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel like it lasts a really long time. That Snapdragon Gen 1 chip is really good for giving you all day battery life and then some. But what I will say that I dislike about it is how long it actually takes to charge this tablet up. Now, this is something that I'm personally hoping is improved on the Tab S9 series over the Tab S8 series. Is it a deal breaker? Probably not, but it is something that I actually felt worth mentioning since, you know, I've been using this tablet for over a year now. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about storage. Now, this is something that I've also seen a change in only one of the models. So from the Tab S8 to the S9, when it comes to the storage, you get up to 256 gigabytes of internal storage, which can be expanded using a micro SD up to one terabyte, which I personally think is solid and a good way for you guys to be able to save on cost. Now on the Tab S8 Plus to the Tab S9 Plus, you get up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage, which can be expanded also up to one terabyte as well using a micro SD card. Now onto the Tab S9 Ultra versus the Tab S8 Ultra. This is where the change happened with this year's model. Now the Tab S9 Ultra now offers up to one terabyte of internal storage with still being able to expand it up to an additional one terabyte using a micro SD card. Whereas with the Tab S8 Ultra, it has the same configurations as the Tab S8 Plus as well as the Tab S9 Plus, giving you just 512 gigabytes of internal storage with being able to also expand it to one terabyte using a micro SD card. So I think with Samsung bumping the S9 Ultra series up to the one terabyte, I think it's actually a solid move and you know, I'm here for it. All right, so the next thing we gotta talk about and that has to deal with the S Pen, right? All right, so the major difference here that I see is that what we're getting is now the S Pen is IP68 rated uh, this year on the Tab S9 series models to match the entire tablet in itself being IP68 rated that I spoke to you guys about early in this video. So again, shout out to Samsung for making sure that it is consistent across the board on that model. So if you know that you're gonna be in situations where water may be present a lot, then I think the Tab S9 series is pretty much gonna be your better option for you to go with. But if you you not then I personally think you know you 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 know what model to go with <laughs> all right so this next move has to deal with connectivity and with this move I'm sure this was a decision that had to come down to the sales of last year's models for them to exclude adding 5G to the other newer models. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So on the Tab S8, the S8 Plus, as well as the S8 Ultra, these are all Wi-Fi 6 enabled devices, which I personally think is a good thing. And I use Wi-Fi 6 here. You know, I'll use that within my home. But when it comes to the Tab S9, the S9 Plus and the S9 Ultra, these are all also Wi-Fi 6 enabled as well. But only the Tab S9 Plus offers a 5G version and a Wi-Fi 6 version, which I thought was kind of odd at first that they didn't make each tablet of the S9 series models 5G capable. So if having 5G network support uh, to be able to be connected anywhere like you know you are with your cell phone, then I think it is pretty clear the choice of the one that you should buy. Now, the next thing here I wanna talk about is that we gotta dive into is the cameras on each of these tablets because there are some changes that has been made. Now, when comparing the Tab S8 to the Tab S9 base series, the rear series on the Tab S8 actually offers more than the Tab S9. Now, the Tab S8 rear camera gives us a 13 megapixel main lens plus a six megapixel ultra wide lens and on the front facing camera gives us a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. However, on the Tab S9, we get the same 13 megapixel rear camera, but we don't get that extra six megapixel ultra wide angle lens on the rear like we do on the Tab S8 series. Now on the Tab S8 plus rear camera, you're getting a 13 megapixel plus a six megapixel ultra wide angle lens. And the front, you're getting a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. But on the Tab S9 plus, 
rear camera, you're getting a 13 megapixel plus an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, which is different from the 6 megapixel ultra wide angle lens that you're getting on the Tab S8 Plus. You do get an upgrade there, which, you know, upgrades are always welcome. <laughs> and on the front, we get the same 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Now, when it comes to the big boy, the Tab S8 Ultra versus the Tab S9 Ultra cameras, starting with the Tab S8 Ultra here. Now, when it comes to the rear cameras, you're getting 13 megapixel main lens and a 6 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. And on the front here, you guys are getting a 12 megapixel main lens as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. And on the Tab S9 Ultra, we're getting a slight increase from the Tab S8 Ultra. The rear camera on that one, you're getting a 13 megapixel main lens plus an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens. And with the front facing cameras, you're getting a 12 megapixel plus another 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, which is the same as the Tab S8 Ultra. Whew, look, I know that was a lot when it comes to these cameras, but I hope somehow you can go back in this video just decipher all that to figure out which one is gonna be the best for you now when it comes to the weight of this tablet right here I think this is very important in my opinion especially if you guys are gonna be somebody that's like me always on the go and you want something that's gonna be you know, pretty much light to be able to take with you. Now, what's considered heavy to every person, I believe is personally subjective, so you will have to decide, you know, which weight is actually perfect for you. The Tab S8 versus the Tab S9 in weight difference is actually the same, coming in at 1.10 pounds. So the Tab S8 Plus weight is 1.27 pounds versus the Tab S9 Plus coming in for the 5G model at 1.3 pounds, and for the Wi-Fi 6 option weighing 1.29 pounds, which making the 5G option just slightly heavier. And when it comes to the Tab S8 Ultra versus the Tab S9 Ultra, there's also a slight difference here as well. The Tab S8 Ultra weighs 1.6 pounds, while the Tab S9 Ultra weighs 1.62 pounds. When it comes to the tablet, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man, I'm excited to actually test and just try out the Tab S9 series as I love my Tab S8 Ultra here. I felt like the Tab S8 Ultra is just a really, really good device. It's fast, it works very well with the keyboard accessory that I have right here, which is also sold separately. And then also you use it with the S Pen that I talked about here and just all around, it's just a really good tablet. So I'm curious, man, let me know down in the comment section below, are you guys gonna be upgrading from your Galaxy Tab S8? S8 series or is this your first time looking at buying a Galaxy tablet? And if it is, man, let me know. Which one are you guys going to be going with? Also, let me know if you guys find these videos helpful, man. I'll make one for the Galaxy Z Flip 5 versus the Z Flip 4 as well as the Galaxy Z Fold 5 versus the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And uh, I think that's about it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Squad. <laughs> Get my tablet. <laughs>